quickly introduce yourself? Hi, am I supposed to look at you or what? Okay. okay. Hi, my name is Rena Hall. I'm Leslie Hall's mother from Ames, Iowa. And I did indeed make the gold pants. <laughs> and the gold shoulder pads. Oh yeah, yes. those are very okay. important. Yeah. Last night the concert people were saying that you were like the godmother of the internet. <laughs> What's with that? Because you are the creator, the original creator of Leslie Hall. How do you feel about um, that? I'm sort of dumbfounded. I get her. Gee, I've never been anyone's godmother. So I'm like really excited. It's great. So if, if someone wants to give birth to um, an internet meme, do you have any tips for them? How to, how to raise an awesome internet meme? Well, you know, it's been in the news recently that the sex of the child can be determined by what food you're eating. Have you heard of that just recently? Which I think is bullshit because it shouldn't be like, I mean, I'm thinking about that. Is it because you eat a banana that the, the male sperm guys are more attracted to the egg or, you know, or is it because you eat a cranberry that the, the women are flocking in? You know, it's all about the sperm, right? So, I mean, I don't know. You know actually, I think my husband should be here because it's all about the sperm. <laughs> No, the egg, that, oh, I've heard that the, um, it's because science is gendered, but the egg actually has an active role in the, um, what's that called? I really... The part where, <laughs> conception. <laughs> oh, the conception, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But you're saying maybe it might have something to do with eating? That's how you create internet well, memes? in the news recently, you know, <laughs> they can, you know, I'm just pulling out because I'm a news junkie <laughs> and all that stuff, but... You know, that's a really good question. I suppose if you uh, maybe conceive on top of a laptop, I don't know, but it's a thought. <laughs> you know, you hear, you hear about these women that can't get pregnant, so they have sex and they prop their butts off with pillows, you know? So maybe if you know, it was laptops. Yes. Would you have expected this from Leslie growing up? Is she where you thought she'd be? We always told her when she was little, she used to be an entertainer. She used to be an entertainer because she used to do some of the most bizarre things. And she was always very comfortable in her own skin. My husband and I went out one night and we came home to our daughters on our bed watching TV, which was really, you know, the normal thing. Just, you know, they were old enough they could stay home alone and stuff like that. But they actually had a rock band going and they were like rapping. And the only instrument they had besides their voices was their drums, which was their guts. So it was a young mom, you know, like that kind of stuff, you know, it was just bizarre. And it was really good. Of course, I'm the mom. Well, you know. When did you know that, this, that something crazy was happening? That something like, she was kind of taking off and this internet thing, something was happening. What was it like um, and when did you know? That's a good question. I guess maybe, you know, when that gym sweater video got so many hits, you know, and I used to tell her, geez, you know, this is a great art form, this gym sweater thing, but maybe we should move on, <laughs> you know, I mean, there's a lot of other things, creative things out there, but who would have thought it would take off my, she'd bring this stuff home, I, did you know that I ruined the first one she brought home because it stunk so bad, and I said, well, I washed it, you know, and, and, and now we don't wash them at all, so, you know. I mean, it literally disintegrated, fell apart. I was evil for a long time after that because I destroyed this amazing piece of artwork that she was going to wear to the prom. By the way, she was prom queen. That was on Wikipedia. She's yeah. prom queen because she campaigned for it. And she, it was the most bizarre thing. And even the teachers were coming up to her and saying, if you don't win this, you've been robbed. You know, and she, wore, and she wore a neck brace too, right? It was my neck brace yeah. and my scar. I had neck surgery. She clamped onto that thing when I took it off my neck, like flies on, you know what? And she wanted it, and she literally wore it, had her senior picture taken in it with a rose, you know. It was all about the sympathy vote. Amazing. And, you know, it was okay, cool. I'm sorry. No, no, we're, we're done. Sorry. Thank you very much for that. That was excellent.